Hello everyone, this is J5 Danny here once again uh, with a movie review, this time of Guardians of the Galaxy. A new movie from Marvel lineup. So, uh, this movie has a huge cast, a cast that could rival the Avengers, bringing in actors like Chris Pratt, uh, Dave Bautista, Zoe Saldana, Josh Brolin, Glenn Close, um, Vin Diesel, Jaimon Hansu, Karen Gillan, uh, those are the ones I can remember off the bat. Oh, yeah, Bradley Cooper. Can't forget Rocket. So, again, the, in the whole movie follows um, Peter Jason Quill, you know, better known as Star Lord, as he. Um, he finds this orb. He ends up getting almost uh, captured by goons of Ronins, uh, one played by Jaiman Hansu. He, uh, well, <coughs> but in the process, it ends up um, ends up betraying his uh, partner. You could call him Yondu, who's played by Michael Rooker, and uh, it ends up uh, Michael, which he ends up putting on a bounty on him. Which is how uh, Rocket and Groot end up meeting him because they are basically bounty hunters. Uh, uh, Zoe Saldana plays Gumora, who is at the time working for Ronin, and goes after after uh, Peter after uh, Quill because he of the orb. Ronin wants it because of what's inside. Uh, they all get, well, in the process, they all end up in a huge fight and get captured at the very beginning of the movie, which is how all four of them meet. You may be wondering, where does Drax come into this? Uh, Drax enters in, he's in the prison, or the, the kiln. He tries to kill Gamora, because Ronan took his wife and daughter from him. And Gamora is technically working. For him, but Gamora reveals that she's not. He she was going to betray him because you know anything about Gamora? She well, Ronan or well, Thanos, who Ronan's working for, took her planet from from her, destroyed the entire planet, so she's like the last of her race or something like that. But uh, was it Star Lord comes to save the day? Talks out Drac convinces him that if he keeps her alive, he can get closer to Ronan, and then kill him himself, which is how Drax ends up joining the whole group. The whole thing ends up with them, find, well, they find out what's in the orb, which is uh, actually one of the Infinity Stones, which I don't have to explain what that is, if you know anything with, with uh, about Thanos, and most likely where the direction of the Marvel movies are going. I don't want to spoil too much, considering they they go on further with that. But I do want to say that the movie is done very well. It's action packed, keeps you watching. It's hilarious. I mean, well, I guess you kind of expect it because well, Chris Pratt is more of a comedic actor than an action star, but he's becoming a bit of both. So his he. His character is a little smooth, is smooth, but yet somewhat of an idiot, which provides, uh, provides com uh, comedic value there. Drax actually also provides some comedic value, considering he has this huge vocabulary, which might stump you, but because of that, it kind of um, causes some some funny parts too. And Rocket, well, he's just a big ass. He's like doing random, well, just basically, he's disrespectful and, or even causes, does things like in prison, where he, uh, where, when they plan to break out, he makes Peter go get some guy's prosthetic leg. But he didn't want it, he just thought it'd be funny to see the guy hopping around on one foot. Anyways, Groot also causes some of the hilarity, considering he doesn't really speak, and the most causes the most adorable scene right at the end of the movie with his dancing. You'll see it. If you haven't seen the movie, you'll see what I mean. Um 
So yeah, I definitely uh, recommend going to see this. It's like I said, it's it's a funny movie. It's a very entertaining. And if you like Marvel, you, any Marvel movies from before, you're definitely gonna like this one. Um, also, stick around at the end of the credits for an unexpected Marvel cameo, which you might find uh, amusing as well. Uh, also, I did not get to see this one in 3D, so I don't know if it was uh, if it's any better. But from what I saw, there's some scenes that would look very well in 3D. So go ahead and check that out and maybe some of you can uh, tell me if it, if it was better if you thought it was uh, any better with the 3D by either commenting below or even um, messaging on my Facebook page which, under the same name SSJ5Danny so I'll uh, be seeing you guys uh, next time I'll be doing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles which who know if any if history will repeat itself as it did with with the uh, Transformers as Michael Bay is involved with this one too. Anyways, SSJ5 Danny, signing off.